you should not see any of this backbone, none of the hip bones, none of this, or no ribs. Gary Turner is one of 17 volunteers with the Animal Rescue Group that helped Habersham County Animal Control seize horses like those you see here. Many, they say, are severely underweight, in poor health, and are infested with lice. It makes me angry that people don't try to get help sooner than when the horses get to the point that they are now. A total of 36 horses have been seized from two Clarksville properties. 14 were taken from this land on Zab Bryson Road. 22 others were rescued from a pasture on Muleman Road. All of the animals were owned by 53-year-old James Goss. There were some of them that needs care. I know that. I go to the sale, I buy cheap horses, I fatten them up, I trade them. Goss, who is disabled, says he was doing the best he could to take care of all of his horses, especially after several citizens made complaints about the condition of his animals. Goss says officials just did not give him enough time. I've got feed. They just wouldn't give me time. Goss says he was told he had 30 days last Friday to fatten up the animals and says he was surprised to see deputies with search warrants this morning and does not know why he's facing dozens of charges of animal cruelty. The 53-year-old says he's willing to do whatever he can to get his horses back, even if it means taking a course on caring for his animals. I have no problem. Any of these volunteers want to come over here and show me what I'm doing wrong? I'll be more than willing to take their advice. In the meantime, Goss says he will be waiting to see when he'll get a chance to go before a judge to give his side of the story. In Clarksville, Amelia Hines, WNEG News, Northeast Georgia.